The Elegoo Neptune 3 is a solid entry-level printer designed to be user-friendly to both beginners and 3D printing veterans alike. However, in our testing, we found the Neptune 3 and our Neptune 3 Pro hotted was lacking in a few critical areas, so we built a brand new plug and play hot end upgrade kit specifically for the Elegoo Neptune 3 and Neptune 3 Pro hot ends to take those printers to the next level. The Elegoo Neptune 3 and Neptune 3 Pro utilize a stock hot end that is PTFE lined, which we're not really fans of. A PTFE lined hot end can be a cost effective choice with lower internal friction compared to an all metal hot end. However, PTFE lined hot ends are highly prone to heat creep. The insulating properties of PTFE can trap heat in the heat break area rather than dissipating it efficiently, leading to issues such as premature filament melting and clogs. The stock hot end on the Elegoo Neptune 3 and Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro is PTFE line, and you'll notice our kit comes with a PTFE tube as well, but it's an all metal hot end. You can see when you remove the PTFE tube from each of them, the PTFE tube in the stock hot end runs all the way down the length of the heat break, whereas ours just sits right in the top, meaning that you have metal that runs all the way down to the hot block, and the PTFE tube never actually comes in contact with the hot block itself. Over time, the PTFE liner can wear down, creating really small microscopic grooves where filament particles and debris can accumulate, further increasing the risk of clogs. Additionally, prolonged exposure to high temperatures can cause the PTFE tube to melt or become sticky right near the hot block where it sits because it's really close and it gets really hot. You can see our PTFE tube, we've only had it for a few months. It's already gumming up and starting to kind of melt it's not too bad, but over prolonged exposure, it's gonna get there over time. Our new Elegoo Neptune 3 upgrade kit is all metal with a bimetallic heat break, a highly efficient copper hot block, and our abrasion resistant Gamma Master nozzle that comes with a lifetime warranty against abrasion wear. If you're looking to take your Elegoo Neptune 3 to the next level, this is the upgrade for you. It enables your printer to handle difficult to print materials more easily, it operates at higher printing speeds without sacrificing print quality, and it unlocks the potential to print with abrasive materials. If this kit sounds interesting to you or you already have one in hand, stick around until the end of the video where I'll give you some tips and tricks to get the best results from your Elegoo Neptune 3 or your Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro and your new hot end. Let's dive into the installation of your Elegoo Neptune 3 upgrade kit. To install the kit, first you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have everything for the installation. You'll need your Elegoo Neptune 3 upgrade kit with the included boron nitride paste and applicator swabs. You'll need a two millimeter hex key, a one and a half millimeter hex key, and a small Phillips head screwdriver. You might find it helpful to have a pair of tweezers handy or a nozzle torque wrench or an adjustable wrench if you want to change your nozzle out for a different nozzle size or nozzle type. We also recommend having plastic repellent paint handy to apply after installation, and we'll talk more about that at the end of the video as well. Ensure you have enough space to work by raising the Z height of your tool head and removing any filament from the filament path. Let the hot end cool down after unloading and then turn off and unplug your printer. Now we can move on to the disassembly. Start by removing the two screws on the front of the fan shroud with your two millimeter hex key and carefully slide off the front housing. Disconnect the fan shroud from the tool head daughter board and set it to the side. If you have trouble removing the connectors, you might find it helpful to use tweezers, but be careful when disconnecting these wires. Next, remove the two screws at the top back of the hot end assembly. And slide the metal cable guide out of the way. Disconnect the tool head cable and remove the remaining screw holding the tool head to the gantry with your two millimeter hex key. This allows us to remove the entire tool head, making changing the hot end even easier. With the entire assembly out in front of you, remove the heater set screw with your one and a half millimeter hex key and the temperature sensor set screw with a small Phillips head screwdriver. Then carefully remove the heater and temperature sensor. Remove the two hot block support screws at the bottom of the hot end. And loosen the set screw in the heat sink. 
Then you can slide out the entire hot end assembly from the heatsink and make sure that your old PTFE tube is removed with the assembly. Now that you've removed the stock hot end, you're ready to install your new copperhead hot end. We're going to start by applying boron nitride thermal paste to hold the heater and sensor in place. Boron nitride paste, or BN paste as we like to call it, improves the thermal performance of your hot end and acts as a potting agent, holding everything firmly in place, even at high printing accelerations. It allows you to get the absolute best performance and most accurate temperature readings from your hot end. So even though it can be a little bit messy, it's well worth the extra time to go through this step. And if you do make a little bit of mess, the BN paste is water soluble and it's super easy to clean up. Start by removing the retainer screw to the right of the slice logo with a two millimeter hex key and be careful that the dowel pin that's inside of the thermistor slot does not fall out. Next, thoroughly coat your heater and the inside of your heater socket with BN paste using the included foam applicator swab. Then inject the temperature sensor socket with BN paste until it's full. It doesn't take very much. Insert the heater and temperature sensor and clean any excess BN paste. Then screw back in the retaining screw, making sure to run through the center of the temperature sensor wires. Make sure that the temperature sensor is completely inside of the hot block and that you do not over tighten the retainer screw. After this, insert the pre-cut Capricorn PTFE tube into the Neptune 3 heatsink, then insert the hot end assembly into the heatsink. Use a one and a half millimeter hex key to tighten the hot end in place using the heat sink set screw. And then you can place the silicone boot onto the hot block after cleaning up any BN paste that may have leaked. And now we can begin reassembly of the printer. Start by attaching the tool head to the gantry with the three screws on the back side of the mounting plate using your two millimeter hex key. Make sure you resecure the metal cable guide with the top two screws. And then reconnect the cable to the top of the tool head. You just push it down and these top two connectors will click right in. Next, go ahead and reconnect the fan shroud to the daughter board. Then secure the two screws to hold the fan shroud back in place using your two millimeter hex key. Finally, plug back in the power, turn on the printer, and get to printing. And that's it. You're done. You've installed your new Elegoo Neptune 3 hot end upgrade kit, and you have now unlocked the full potential of your Elegoo Neptune 3 hot end. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we have a few tips and tricks to help you get the absolute most out of your new upgrade. The first of which is using plastic repellent paint. If you're not familiar, plastic repellent paint is awesome. Plastic repellent paint helps you, well, repel plastic from your nozzle and your boot and your hot end. You paint it on to your nozzle and it repels plastic from sticking. This allows you to have a really great first layer every time you don't have plastic gumming up and sticking to your hot end and it prevents having first layer failures, it allows you to have better quality prints, and it allows you to have a smoother 3D printing experience. Plastic repellent paint is something we do anytime we do a hot end change or a nozzle change. We always apply a layer of plastic repellent paint when it makes sense. So if you're gonna be installing the Elegoo Neptune 3 upgrade kit, we recommend just going ahead and applying a layer of plastic repellent paint right away. If you want to learn more about plastic repellent paint and how to use it, you can watch our video all about plastic repellent paint by clicking right here, somewhere around there. Another thing that you can do to get the most out of your kit is by lowering your retraction settings. The great thing about having an all metal hot end with a really thin bimetallic heat break is that your retraction settings can come way down. The stock retraction settings of your hot end are probably gonna be way up there, probably around five to six millimeters. You're gonna be able to lower your retraction settings all the way down to your nozzle orifice size. 
So if you're printing with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, go ahead and lower your retractions all the way down to 0.4 millimeters and adjust it from there. Tune it based on your specific print and filament and what you're trying to accomplish and you'll find the sweet spot for you and what you're trying to do. Lowering your traction this significantly is going to drastically reduce your print times and it's going to allow you to get the absolute most out of your new Hodden upgrade. In addition to applying plastic repellent paint and lowering your traction settings, we also recommend running a PID tune on your printer before running that first print. We created a free guide called seven things you should not do with your 3D printer with more tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your hot end upgrade kit and your 3D printer. We'll include a link in the description below. If you're interested in seeing more content like this or seeing future products that we have coming out later this year, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments a printer that you would like to see an upgrade kit for next. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to stay zesty.